NCRI revelation on Iran regime's attack receives vast media coverage. International media organizations have given widespread coverage to the latest revelation by the National Council for Assistance of Iran regarding the Iranian regime's September 14th missile and drone attacks on Saudi Arabia's oil installations. Media organizations that reported on the NCRI's revelations based on intelligence obtained by the MEK from within the regime include Fox News, The Washington Times, Britain's Daily Star, Britain's Express, Belgium's La Libra, Al Arabia English, Sky News, Newsmax, One America News Network, CNS News, The American Mirror, Japan's NKH, and Scotland's The National. IRGC Commander confirms MEK intel on missile cities hidden under Iran's mountains. We have been digging tunnels since 1984 when we first began making missiles. These were the words of Revolutionary Guards General Amir Ali Hajazida, commander of the IRGC's Aerospace Force. He was interviewed by the Iranian regime's documentary TV a few hours after the NCRI's US representative office revealed the existence of numerous tunnel formations across Iran that are used to stock long-range missiles. Haji Zedar has played a vital role in the September 14th drone and cruise missile attack against Saudi Arabia's Aramco facilities deep within Saudi territory, according to information revealed on September 30th by the NCRI, based on intelligence from the main opposition group MEK. Iran regime's supreme leader threatens further breaches of nuclear deal. Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei threatened the international community on Wednesday that his regime will continue reducing its commitments to the 2015 nuclear deal until it reaches the desired result. Khamenei said in a meeting with commanders of the Revolutionary Guards, We will continue the reduction of commitments. The responsibility is with the Atomic Energy Organization, and they must carry out the reduction in a precise, complete and comprehensive way and continue until the time we reach a desired result. Female political prisoner deprived from visiting husband. Political prisoner Fatima Mosana, detained in the women's ward of Evin Prison, was deprived of having a visit with her husband, Hassan Siddiqui, who was detained in Gorodash prison in Karaj. The regime cancelled the visit because Siddiqui did not wear the prison garb and refused to be transferred with shackles and handcuffs. The couple were arrested on April 9, 2014, during the funeral ceremony they held to commemorate Sadeki's father, deceased in January 2014 in Camp Liberty, Iraq, where PMOI members were held under siege. <laughs>